What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a ranked Incineroar team. So if you are excited, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time to help the support channel and help it grow. This team right here consists around Incineroar, obviously, the new Pokemon who is probably going to be taking over the meta, considering his basic stats are so well. Then add the EVs and all that on top of him, he's an absolute beast. The Incineroar we have right here, EVs, he has nothing in his attack EVs. He has nothing, he's just boosted in his defense because his attack and speed already, his base stats, are already pretty solid, so there's really no reason to boost them. But he's going to be a bulky little Mon who's going to be able to hit pretty hard. He has Darkest Lariat and Flare Blitz for Stab, and he has Fake Out and U-Turn. U-Turn is going to be our pivot move because he also has Intimidate as his ability, so we can send him out, get that Intimidate, Fake Out, pivot out with the U-Turn, and be able to Intimidate and Fake Out once again, do it multiple times in the battle. We also have this Milotic and Bravey Ari on this team. Milotic and Bravey Ari, they're kind of the same right here because it's a competitive Milotic and a defiant Bravey Ari. So if they're, they're using also like Incineroars and all that, because he's going to be prevalent inside this meta, we can throw out our competitive Milotic or defiant Bravey Ari and get that attack or special attack boost as well. Milotic has a normal moveset with Recover, Protect, Scald, and Icy Wind. And Bravey Ari is our Tailwind Pokemon with Close Combat, Brave Bird, and Protect. Then we have Togekiss over here. Togekiss, obviously, just a nice little follow me Pokemon. Distract, so we can be able to do some damage. Also has Air Slash with Serene Grace to potentially get more flinches. That's in Gleam and Helping Hand. And then in our final two spots for this team is Extra Drill and Rotom, our big attackers. Extra Drill has that Focus Sash with the normal moveset, Mole Breaker as its ability. And Rotom is Life Orb with Leaf Storm, Volt Switch for Stab, Willow Wisp for those physical attackers, and Protect. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I made this team myself with the help of Danny. Once again, I made the whole EV spread, made the team up. He just built the team for me, so thank you so much, Danny. And let me know for question of the day, what starters do you guys want to see next? Like any new starters, or not new starters, or old starters, get bring into this game. Like for me, I think Totodile will be cool. Totodile is such a cool Pokemon, and Trico as he's one of my favorite starter evolutions into Skeptile. But guys, without further ado, let's show off Incineroar in some ranked double battles. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has an Alolan Ninetales team. Alolan Ninetales actually has been coming into the meta as well as it can learn like hypnosis and all that good stuff. It's a pretty solid Pokemon and it's pretty fast as well. But he has Alolan Ninetales, Cinderace, Dragapult, Milotic, probably competitive Milotic. Probably not going to lead my Incineroar just because of that. He has the Gastrodon and the Whimsicott for that Tailwind. I think, I believe he's going to go for that Milotic and maybe that Whimsicott. I'm going to go Braviary for sure to set up that Tailwind. And then I think I'm going to go in with my Rotom as well, just to pose a threat to that Milotic if he goes in with it. And then have my Incineroar in the back to potentially come out and throw in an Intimidate later on in that match. And then who do I get the final spot to? Let's go to my Milotic or Extra Drill. Either or here. I feel like my, uh, I feel like my Extra Drill will do more work. Considering he has that Gastrodon, who can just kind of eat up that Milotic. But I think we're chilling from there. I think we are chilling from there. Rotom is going to be a beast here, considering it covers that Milotic and that Gastrodon. They're two big water attackers. So we kind of protect by Incineroar that way. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. You guys already know the deal. Come hang out with me. We stream four plus days every single week. Tons of fun. I would love to see you guys there. And as you guys can tell, I'm still a little bit sick. Getting over it now. But we're chilling, we're chilling. But... Dope. It's dope. He went out into the Milotic. Like I said, good thing I went out into the Rotom instead of that Incineroar. Look at him. Thinking I'm going to go Incineroar turn one. Um, how, do, how should I play this? I'm definitely going to go for a Tailwind here. And do I Volt Switch out? I'm kind of scared of that of that Cinderace. The Cinderace is rather scary. I kind of want to protect. Like, I kind of want to, or I kind of want to Dynamax turn one here. Hmm. I say we do Dynamax turn one. Do I? What do I do here? Because I feel like he's just going to coil up with that, uh... Yeah, I'm going to go for Max Overgrowth. I'm going to go Max Overgrowth right on that Milotic. Hopefully he doesn't switch out. I feel like he's going to stay in there. Saying his Cinderace is going to outspeed and take out my Rotom. So we're just going to Dynamax and be able to eat up a shot. And be able to take out that, uh... That Milotic. And then once the Tailwind gets rolling, then we can do some big damage over to that Cinderace as he is a lightweight. I cannot take too many hits. But yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. My voice is still a little uh, raspy and all that. But we're chilling, we're chilling. Bringing out that content for you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy. But he's going to Dynamax as well. That's got to be the Milotic in the dive ball. Okay. He's going to Dynamax that. We're going to go for this Max Overgrowth here. I was thinking of maybe Volt Switching out. But he did lead that Cinderace. That Cinderace is tough. And I couldn't. He was probably going to take me out with one Pyro Ball. The 
it's definitely gonna take me out with one power ball, so I had to either Dynamax or hard swap. I don't really want to set up that Milotic. I don't want that Milotic to really set up. Powerball comes through. See, that would have taken us out easily. Max Overgrowth comes through. This thing has a Rindo Berry. Bruh. This thing has a Rindo Berry. That's whack. That is whack. And he's probably going to drop the ice and take out my boy. That Rindo Berry helped him out a ton. Helped him out a ton. Hopefully he goes for my Braviary. My Braviary should go first to be able to set up that Tailwind. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Cause if I uh let's see let's just see what he does. Tailwind sets up. If he goes for that hailstorm on my uh on my Braviary, that I'd be fine with that. But he's probably gonna go after my Rotom. Let's see. Go after my Braviary? Okay, that's fine. You can take out my Braviary. I really don't mind if the Braviary goes down. The Braviary does survive though. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh how should I play this though? Do I think he's gonna go for a max guard? And I can double into that Cinderace? Or do I send another overgrowth over onto that, uh... I think I send another overgrowth onto that Milotic. And, s and then my Braviary should be able to outspeed and do some work onto that Cinerace. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. What you want, Milotic? I don't think we're going to be able to take out the Milotic turn one. Or, the or this shot. I feel like it's too bulky. Too big right now. But I say we just go into a uh, close combat. Now let's go Brave Bird. Brave Bird stab into the Cinerace. See if we can do some big damage. And then an overgrowth over on the Milotic. To be able to do some big damage before we go out. We should be able to outspeed the Cinerace now. Dude, I hope it doesn't go for a max guard. I was going to read it, but I don't really see it doing it. I see him eat up the shot. I think he's thinking about doing it now, so that's tough. Because if he does pull this off, that would be a great play by him. To distract the shot from my Rotom. No! No, dude, I should have read it. We could have dumped on this thing. We could have dumped on the Cinderace and had a big advantage in this game. Unless we take this thing out, this shot. If we get, like, a crit or something. Go ahead, do it, Braviary. I don't think he is. Nope. Nope. Braviary takes some mean recoil damage. And the Pyro Ball is going to take me out here. Unless you're going for my Braviary. It looked like you were maybe going for my Braviary. That's fine. That is totally fine. Go after my Braviary. I'm going to send out my extra drill here. That is chilling. That is chilling. I'm going to send out my extra drill here. I'm going to be able to take out the Cinderace and roll out from there. I don't want to go into my Intimidate yet. My Intimidate Incineroar. I, think, I feel like I got to kind of let him go towards the end. He just made a big mistake by not going for my Rotom. So, Extra Drill is going to fly out here. Even though the, what's it called, is going to take off his Sash. But I, I cannot go into the Intimidate Incineroar and give that Milo take a free special attack boost. So, Extra Drill pops here. Old Breaker, yes sir. He's probably, he might be able to go down. He might go down here. I'm not too sure. And I could go for a rock slide. Because rock slide should be able to take out that sin race. But we gotta hope it lands. And do some damage to the Milotic as well. And then an overgrowth should come through here. And be able to do some mean damage. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I need my road time to do some big damage here. But still, Incineroar in the back is gonna be tight night. He might be able to win me this game. He is so good. He's not really our Dynamax Pokemon of choice for this team. Because he's just there to kind of pivot out and do all that stuff. But... Pokemon like uh, Defiant Passimian, Defiant Braviary, Competitive Milotic really counter hard onto that in Sooner War, which is tough. It is really tough. So you're going to be seeing a lot more competitive slash Defiant Pokemon in the meta. Same thing with the Intimidate in Sooner War. So, oh, he withdraws the Cinderace. He withdraws the Cinderace and he goes out into the Ninetales, which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. We should have one more turn. Oh, he withdraws the... Okay. Okay, he withdraws the Milotic as well. Goes for the double swap. That's totally fine by me. And he's going to pull out the Dragapult. Okay, we have one more turn in the Tailwind, which isn't too bad. We're going to be able to drop our nice little Rock Slide on this Pokemon. And just Merc on that Ninetales. We should be able to outspeed that Ninetales as well next turn. We get a crit, baby. Let's get it. Big crit. Max Overgrowth flies out here for our last turn on our Dynamax. How much damage are you going to do? Nice damage, baby. Nice damage. I feel like we could potentially get a double kill. Because we're going to outspeed here. I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide and then go into a... Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna end up uh, killing ourselves to Life Orb damage next turn. Unless we Volt Switch out. Unless we Volt Switch out. No. No, we should be fine because of the Grancy Terrain. Coming up big. Okay, okay. Hmm, how should I play this one now? How should I play this one? I feel like we would be fine against the Cinderace. I feel like we're chilling there. I could drop a Rock Slide. And then just go into a Volt Switch. 
I'm just gonna go into that iron head and then bolt switch over on the pole. Now I, I feel like rock slide is just a better move all around. I feel like it is. I have two not very effective moves, and then I can bolt switch over on the Rotom is gonna go down, and then I'll bolt switch over on the Dragon Bolt. I wonder if we don't take life orb damage. We might not take life orb damage here, which would be nice. Rock slide gets blocked there. We might not take life orb damage if we're bolt switching out. I'm not too sure. Dragon Bolt avoid the attack bolt switch. Please kill. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go. Not very effective. The, we take out the Dragon Bolt. That's dope. Did we go down? Yeah, life orb damage does tick as well before we switch out. And Rotom goes down, but Rotom did some work. He did some work here. Buffets come out here. Uh, my extra is going to go back up to full health and keep it Sash, which is tight nice. It's going to keep it Sash. Ninetale's going to heal up just a little bit. I wonder who he's going to go into. The Tailwind Peter's out. Oh, if he goes into that competitive Milotic. If he goes to that Milotic, that's going to be tough for us. He goes to the Cinerace. Nice. Okay, Cinerace does pop here. Um, Do I fake out? How should I do this? I feel like I fake out the... Yeah, I have to fake out the... What's it called? I have to fake out the blah, 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 the Alolan Nine Tails so it doesn't get off a of hypnosis because it's probably rocking out with hypnosis. And then drop a rock side for the double kill. I feel like that's the play. I feel like that's the play. Where do I see my extra outspeeding the what's it called? The Nine Tails. What do I see happening? Actually, I can maybe see my extra outspeeding. So I'm gonna he is jolly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fake out the Cinerace here. Because I don't want that Pyro Ball coming across. He's going to withdraw the Cinderace. That's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. We already we got that Intimidate off. He's going to come back in later. Fake out's coming through. Onto the Milo to end. Man, we should have faked out the Lonely Nine Tails. Aurora Veil. Oh, what a setup. What a setup. Gets an Aurora Veil out late in the game. That's going to be pretty big for him. This Rock Side, hopefully it lands on him. It does. Nine Tails goes down here. We do some damage to the Milo Tick. The Cinderace is totally going to outspeed me. So, bum, bum, bum. how should I roll out with this one? This is scary. This is scary, dude. The Milo Tick. This match one is crazy. Look at Incineroar, dude. He's an absolute beast. I have his EVs into his defensive slot, I believe. Let me see. Let me take a check at it. Because he's a bulky mod. His base stats are phenomenal. Are phenomenal. That's why we didn't really put anything into the attack stat. I feel like we go into a Rock Slide and a Darkest Lariat here, but let me show you guys his little thing. We still have our Guav Berry as well and our Sash. Look at this thing. Absolute beast. Yeah, we got a little bit in special defense and defense. And then big inside the HP. Dude, his stats are phenomenal. Already 135 attack with no EVs into it. That's phenomenal. He's such a good Pokemon. Yeah, I think we go Rock Slide because Rock Slide should be able to take out the Cinerace. And then our Darkest Lariat over on the Milo Tick. I feel like this could be good. Pyro Ball is going to come out here. <gasps> X Control dodges it. Rock Slide comes out here. Oh, my Tick avoids it. Okay, but we take out the Cinderace. But we take out the Cinderace. That's good news. That is good news. Let's go. So we go dodge for dodge here. And then Instant War is going to pop out here. I think we have this game in the in the bag now. In the bag. My Tick does outspeed the Instant War, but that's totally fine. We go with the high horsepower. Darkest Lariat. And just wrap this one up. Let's go. Darkest Lariat coming through. Look at that. Look at that move, dude. It looks dope. Look. Look how much damage. Oh, that was a crit. I was going to say, look how much damage he did. That was, that was pretty good damage. And the good thing about Darkest Larry is, is it ignores, like, if he has a defensive boost. Let me read it again. I believe that's what it does. Yeah. The target stat changes don't affect the attack damage. So, it's so good. So, if he, say he's, like, boosted through the roof with a uh, defense. Plus six. It doesn't matter. It's going to hit as hard as it does without the boost. Is he going to go into another recovered? That's totally fine. We're just going to keep the pressure on you, my dude. I could start dropping rock slides, but I don't think that's the play. I don't think that's the play whatsoever. Darkest Lair coming out here. This, this is a rather longer match, but it's what's up. It's what's up. We're going to do a little bit of damage on him. I want two more high horsepowers. Is this dude going to quit it out? Or, like, what are you doing? Go ahead, cancel it. You're not going to wait this one out. High horsepower comes through. Boom. Because if he doesn't go for a recover here, yeah, he's going to have to constantly go for a recover. Oh, my lord. Match one is going to be long, but it just shows how good this team is. And they can kind of play the long game as well. Darkest Lair coming out. That move just looks so dope. I just feel like it looks so cool. He's still doing a decent amount of damage to a bulky Milo Tick. But he's bulky as well. He's just so good. He's so good. I cannot wait to show him off even more. High horsepower. Yeah, yeet, baby. Come on, we need a crit or something. We need a big crit. Recover, oh my lord. 
Come on, my dude. This dude should just quit. Stop it. It's too early in season. In the season to, to push like this. I would get if it's like two days before and you're trying to get that high ranking. Two days before it ends. Oh, and there's a war veil. They had a war veil the whole time. That's huge. I forgot about that. That's why we were doing that little damage. So now we can see how hard he will actually hit. Oh my god, go into a protect. Stop it. He's so annoying. This dude is so annoying. You're not winning this game. You're not winning this one. He's just drawing it out. Get out of my face, dude. I feel like Incineroar's design, like the graphics for this game, just make him look phenomenal. I think this is the best he ever looked. Like, he just looks so good. I wish Brown comes through. Let's see how much damage we do now with the Roar Bell off. There we go. There's some damage. Skull's gonna pop through. Onto my extra. My extra Sash, and he's gonna eat that up regardless. Let's go. Darkest Slayer. That should be game. It, even if this doesn't take out, my extra outspeeds. Let's go. Bang. Nice damage. Not bad damage. And then we're gonna come through with our, uh... This has 100%. Dude, I'm, I'm just gonna go in high horsepower. I'm gonna go high horsepower and another Darkest Slayer. And say GG. Match one in the bag. Long match here. Oh my god, dude. He protects. Bruh. Bruh. Why? Why you gotta do this, one, dude? He's not even leftovers. He's not even leftovers. And he's just drawing this one out. Like, what's he waiting for? You lost, my dude. You lost. Go high horsepower again. Darkest Slayer. Watch. We're gonna miss. And it's just gonna be a long, long game. High horsepower comes through. Yes. Let's go. Finally. GG. Match one in the bag. There we go. Incineroar played pretty well at the end, but I really do like this team. We kind of showed it off pretty well. Let's hop into battle number two and show it off once again. Match number two coming at you guys. He has none of the new Pokemon, but he has a pretty cool team with the Slazzle and Malmar. Probably contrary Malmar. Who do I think he's going to lead? He might lead an Intimidate Pokemon, so I'm going to go Brave the Yard and set up that Tailwind. Or he might go into the... What's it called? He might go into the Duraludon. Maybe try to pose a Lightning on my... Uh, Braviary, so I can pull out my extra draw as well in case I want to do a hard swap. And then who do I go into from there? Whom do I go into from there? Into the final spot, I could go extra draw. Extra draw could be pretty solid, but I gotta watch out for that. Not extra draw, Rotom. It's either Rotom or Milotic. Hmm. I feel like Milotic would be a little bit better. Let's go Milotic. Let's go Milotic into the final spot here. Get a little bit of water action. Kind of something to counteract that Salazzle, because we already have something to counteract that. Gyarados with the rocks in my extra drill. Let's go. Let's see if we can go 2 0 with this team. I have my in Intimidate Incineroar in the front end. Trying to show him off a little bit more this match because in the last match we had to play him in the back considering he had competitive Pokemon. So we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's get rolling here. We go Salazzle and Duraludon. Okay, so potential lightning here. Right? Potential lightning. We get that Intimidate off on that Salazzle. I think that Salazzle. No, that Salazzle might be special attacking. Okay, so someone's floating in the air with air balloons. I totally forgot who it, who, who it was. Probably that Salazzle. Because that it actually went through quick. It went through quick. It's got to be that Salazzle. So I could fake out. Maybe set up a Tailwind. Let's go fake out on the round. I don't think he's going to Dynamax here. We're going to set up this Tailwind. We're, we are going to set up this Tailwind. He is Dynamaxing. No! No! Don't beat that round on. Please let it be the Salazzle. Let it be that Salazzle. I would love to get a figure out on the round on. Oh, man. Oh, man. He might dump on my boy. He may, maybe, or may not. He's not sad, but he's still pretty big damage here. Well, hopefully he goes there for my Incineroar. The you know, fake out's gonna pop here. Do a little bit of damage. Oh, Salazzle's going for a fake out as well. Ooh. Yeah, that's totally fine. We're gonna be able to set up the Tailwind, though. That is probably our biggest, uh, biggest part here. I'm confused to who's in with the air balloon. I didn't get to read it quick enough. He's gonna take out my brain. That's totally fine. We got the tail one up. It's gotta be the Slazzle, right? It's gotta be the Slazzle. That's gotta be a fact. Right? It's gotta be the Slazzle. Because what the round on goes in with air balloon. I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna bring my boy right here. I mean, do I rock fall onto the Slazzle? I could totally just rock fall onto the Salazzle and pose that threat that way. And just to figure out who is holding the Sash. I'm definitely going to U-turn out here. Onto the Duraldon. Then I'm probably going to Dynamax here. And I think I'm going to drop the rocks onto the Salazzle. Just to see who has the... The what's it called? Just to see who has the Sash. Well, not the Sash. The Air Balloon. Maybe I should have U-turned onto the Salazzle just in case it is Sash. But no, it has to be Air Balloon. 
Bruh, 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 bruh. You have the speed advantage, for sure. Now, hopefully this is what's airborne. It's gotta be what's airborne. Because I don't know if the text just went really quick or I was just not even paying attention. Because I saw it for like a split second and I felt like it was just like very quick. Rockfall possible. We're going to set the Sandstorm, which will be nice for us. Boop. Say bye-bye to Salazzle. Will it save a pops to Airborne? Let's see. I don't think it will save if it just dies. Pick up Sandstorm. Yeah, okay. Pop the Airborne. It does save. Dope. So Salazzle was the one with the Airborne. Type nice. U-turn. We're going to U-turn out here. Um, I don't think it's gonna go for a late either. Okay, up against my Incineroar. I think like it's gonna go for a dragon move. So I could just swap it to the Milo thing. There's no way it's dropping a lightning. There's no way. I mean I can go into a protect next turn with my Milo tech and then we'll do some work on that uh Groudon. Let's see what happens. Worm wind, yep, worm wind's flying through. Who are you going after? He's gonna draw my attack, which is a little tough. I definitely have to protect next turn. That did some big damage. That did some big damage. Competitive Milotic, that's actually big for us. That's big for us. Now, what's the play call here? I have to protect, right? Or do I hard swap? I feel like I have to protect here. And try to dump on that around on, but I don't think we can do enough, enough damage. I don't think we can do enough damage considering we are minus one on the attack board now. But I would love to get a recover off. Gyarados comes through. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Who do I go after? I, th I, I have to dump on that Gyarados. I mean, not really. I could just protect it. I mean, I could just uh, intimidate it and roll out with that later. Fake it out later. Oh, so, yeah. I'm going to go for this Max Quake and boost our special defense as well. So, let's go for that. I wonder what this Gyarados is going for. Probably a Waterfall. Let's see. Protect from the Milo. Yeah, you yeah, baby. This, this is a pretty good match here. The first match was really good. It went the distance. That was a pretty long match. See if we can pick up another win. Here comes a big Max Quake here. Do a little bit of damage. Pretty decent damage, especially up against this bulky little boy. We're going to get that special defense boost, which is going to be nice. And my Milo takes plus one on special defense and special attack. The waterfall pops here. We're going to be able to eat that. Oh, we're chilling. Gyarados is life orb. He is life orb. And the Wormwind's going to fly through once again. Who's he going after? My Milo? Okay, yeah, my Milo's going to be able to eat that one up. Competitive boosted again. So now we're plus two on special attack, but I think I just dump on the Gyarados. And I think we, we are going to be able to outspeed here. Even though we're minus two on the attack board. I think I can recover here. I think I can get a free recover. So special defense is boosted now as well. Because we have the Tailwind. I feel like a Tailwind Milo tick is faster than that throughout. Uh. So we can get that recover off and then roll into a what's it called? Or I could swap. No, I really do want to get this recover off and dump on that Gyarados. Time to get out of the way. He's just going to go for a waterfall and take out my... See, I say we take out that Duraludon. I think this should be able to take out the Duraludon, even though we're minus two. Come on, baby. Get that special defense boost as well. Because the Gyarados can take out my extra after this. That's totally fine. Gyarados is going to protect. Let's go, dude. Nice little call by me to switch it up at the end. Unless he goes for double protect. Let's see what happens here. He does not go for double protect. That's tight, nice. So if this takes out, that is a huge call by me. We can have a recover up here. Yep, takes him out. We have this recover. We are plus two on special attack with the Milo tick. Plus two on special defense as well, which is huge. And then I can eventually just swap into my Intimidate Incineroar. Good thing we have that pivot U-turn. This is why I like to have it on him. Then roll out from there. Recover comes out here. Bang. Big health coming in. And we still have the leftovers to trigger. Just a teensy bit more. Just a teensy bit more. The Buffets fly through. And the Buffets fly through. I think Tailwind ends here. Does Tailwind end? Let me think. Let me think. When did we use it? Yeah. Tailwind should end here. Tailwind, yep. Bye-bye, Tailwind. It's gone. Get him out of here. Who's going to be his final Pokemon? It is a Darmanitan. Um, I could hard swap here just to lower that attack. Just to lower that attack. And get my extra back in here. Um... Because I could totally just protect. And then pivot again. Let's see. Who does extra drill, who's extra going to outspeed? I, I say I just go for a protect here. And I drop a rock side. I just drop a nice little rock side here. This is super effective of both. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. I think my extra drill should be able to outspeed that Gyarados. I think goes for an EQ. That's rather smart. That was rather smart. And he's going to be able to get off an EQ. And take out my extra drill. It's going to be nice. It's going to be actually pretty good for us. 
because we get the Intimidate, these are both physical attackers, and we have the Fake Out as well, so I can determine who I want to use the Fake Out on. Um, who do I want to use the Fake Out on? I'm thinking Darmantan, because I'm thinking the Gyarados might protect here. It has Power Whip, it has Power Whip and Waterfall. So, hmm. I think I might just pose the Fake Out onto him. Oh, um, it comes down to this, baby. It comes down to this. We are plus two, and we're, but... I was gonna say we're plus two on special defense, but these are both physical attackers. Hmm. They are gonna outspeed us both. So I have to I have to dump on a Pokemon. I have to dump on one. So I have to fake out and go come in hard with a scald or a icy wind. Icy wind will just slow him down. I think Scald's gonna have to come in. Up against this Armantan. I say we uh Hmm. I say we fake out the Gyarados. If he goes for a protect, he goes for a protect. But I think I just fake him out. Good, there we go, nice. Okay, we pick out the Gyarados. He doesn't get this turn off. Darmanthane's gonna go for an EQ. It doesn't affect Gyarados. I feel like we should be able to eat this one up. I feel like we should be chilling here. Yeah, dude, we're pretty tanky. Both these Pokemon are pretty tanky. And hopefully the Skull can do some big damage. Because we are plus two. This might be able to take out. Let's see. Let's go, Milo Tick. Competitive Milo Tick coming up clutch here. I could start Icy winning this. Sandstorm subsides. He has Power Whip, which is rather scary. Which is rather scary. I really don't want to protect here. I kind of just want to keep posing a threat, throwing a Scald on him, trying to get a burn, and then throwing a Darkest Larry on him. I think that's the plan, because I think he's going to go Waterfall on me. Let's go. Let's get it. This is scary. This, it's coming down to the wire here. Waterfall comes through. Ooh! Instead of where it goes down, that's showing that fake out was clutch. That fake out was clutch. Can this Milo take clutch up? Battle number two for us. It's Moxie. Oh, no. We have to take out here, or get a burn at least. I mean, we get a burn. He's life form, dude. He does big damage. Like, a power whip's gonna take us out. Power whip will take us out. Get a burn. Get a burn. Get a burn! No! We do not get a burn. That's whack. I have to protect. I have to protect to get a little bit more HP here. This is nuts. This is nuts. Let's go protect. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I forget, Icy Wind doesn't go first. It's what one of the Ice Moves have first turn priority. It's Ice Shard, that's what it is. Power Whip's coming in. Leftover's gonna trigger. Can we eat? I don't think we're gonna eat this. He's Moxie. I think he's gonna one tap us up. Oh no, oh no! Get out of my face, dude. Hopefully he misses. Go ahead, buddy, miss! Miss or Milotic eat up. It's gonna be close, come down. Power Whip. Uh oh. Go ahead, Milo, eat it up, buddy. Let's go. Let's get it, Milo Tick. Coming up big in that end, and the Life Orb will be able to take it out. GG, match two in the bag. And Sonora came up clutch there. Oh, he wasn't plus one because of the Intimidate, and that fake out came up big. Let's hop into match number three and try to go 3 0 with this Incineroar squad. Here we go, hopping into battle number three. If you guys are hanging out with me, give me a little bit of hashtag Incineroar squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who hangs out and watches the videos all the way through. He has a Lapras. Could be G-Max Lapras, as G-Max Lapras is now available in this new season, which is dope. Probably Sleep Butterfree, uh, Belly Drum, Snorlax. He has a Tailwind as well. I think Incineroar is just a solid lead again with that Fake Out and the Intimidate. Could do some work. And then who do I follow in with? Probably my Tailwind Pokemon. Probably my Tailwind Mon. Yeah, let's go Incineroar into Defiant Bravey R here for that Tailwind. And then, bum, 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 Extra Drill. Yeah, Extra Drill, then the boy. Extra Drill, and then the boy Rotom. The boy Rotom here. Go big double attackers with our physical and our special attacker. Yo, Incineroar came up clutch that last match. That Intimidate. That's why I say that a pivot move is so good. We were able to pivot out and use the Intimidate later on and the Fake Out once again. Let's go. Battle number three on its way. 2-0 oh with this team. This, is, Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite teams that I've been using out of the three I made. You guys should definitely try it the number two. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Who's he going into? He goes into the Lapras and the... What's it called? He goes into the Lapras and the Whimscott. I say I just dump on the Whimscott. I say I just dump on the Whimscott. Go fake out on the Whimscott into a uh, Brave Bird. And just take it out from there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Fake out. Bang into Brave Bird, and then we can set up the Tailwind next turn, because that uh, Lapras will not be that fast. And he might actually G-Max here. Is it a G-Max Lapras? That'd be cool if we could see one of them. But I'd be fine if he takes out my Incineroar and we take out his Tailwind mod. I feel like that would be totally fine. Well, let's just see what happens. But I believe Lapras is G-Max move. Oh, is it G-Max show it to me? That'd be cool. I believe that Lapras is G-Max move. It sets up a free Aurora Veil. It's just pretty dope. 
Let's see. Is it G-Max? It is, dude. Let's go. This is awesome. See, look at this guy. Showing off a cool new mod. I'm a fan. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. I'm so glad they, they uh, let some more uh, G-Max Pokemon into the meta or into the season. That's sick. Okay, Brave Bird should be able to take out this uh, the Swim Scott, so no no more Tailwind. It's gone. Get out of here. And then he's probably going to go for a... Uh, might take out my Brave Yard here. Actually, might we might go double without a Tailwind. G-Max Resonance. Is that Resonance? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's an ice move that puts in a Roar Veil. That is dope. That is dope. And he took out my Braviary as well. Look at that. That is sick. That is sick. You don't even need to hail for it. It just sets up a free Aurora Veil. That is unreal. That's actually pretty dope. Oh, we can go into a Rotom now. We can go into a Rotom. I'm probably going to pivot out once again with the uh, Intimidate Boy. And maybe drop a Max Lightning. Drop a Max Lightning. But he has a Aurora Veil, dude. That is one of the coolest G-Max moves ever. That sets up big defense for your Pokemon. And does big damage as well. Like, he took out my Tailwind Pokemon. I didn't think he was going to take him out. I thought maybe he was going to go for a Water move. But we're chilling, we're chilling. Uh, what you turn out? I think I'll just double into this Lapras here. Uh, Overgrowth or Lightning? Overgrowth or Lightning? I feel like Overgrowth would be the better call here. This is plus 140, or no, it's not plus 140. It's plus 20 more base power than that Lightning, and it can give us the heals as well. That's tight, nice. And if I w eventually want to go into like a Will-O-Wisp with him later on, I won't have the Electric Terrain to block it later. Let's go with D-Max. We should have the speed advantage. These two Pokemon are rather slower. I mean, maybe they're faster than my Incineroar, because Incineroar is only like 80, I think, speed, because we have nothing invested into it. But we're chilling. Let's go, Rotom. Let's get it. Look at that teeth, dude. That's scary. That is some scary teeth. He's like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Rotom gets that boost in HP. He's going to be able to do some big damage here. Next up, I don't know, dude. Aurora Rail is going to help it out. These mount. And this thing's pretty tanky. But life orb damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, especially with that Aurora Veil up as well. So we get that grassy terrain. The grassy terrain. We're going to be able to U-turn out as well. Let's see. Are we going to go before them? No. T-Bolt's going to come through. On whom? My Incineroar? Look at that. Incineroar just eats up all day, baby. He's a tanky little boy. U-turn pops through. I think he's going to go for a water move on me. So now I can swap over. Ooh. That's actually tough. That's actually tough. I wonder what he's gonna go for. It's actually tough. They're both uh, bad calls, but we have our uh, we have our sash, so we go to a higher horsepower later. Dang that! Now I really want my Milo tick in here. He's gonna go for a geyser. That's tough. So sash is gonna trigger, and then we should be able to just uh, go into a high horsepower and do some big damage to this around on. As it's not D Max, it's probably gonna survive as well. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of HP back. Yeah, I wish we had our Milo tick now. Okay. Uh, Rock Slide or High Yeah, we gotta go High Horse Power here. Drop that on you. And then, do I Lightning and set the terrain? No. Like I said, I'm just gonna stick with the Grassy move. Big little Grassy move. Get it, baby. Get it. I'm gonna go first. High Horse Power comes through. Show me like a crit or something. That's still some bit. Dude, no more War Veil. He was dead. No more War Veil. That the Rowdon is gone. Get him out of here. This all over crit here? Can we crit take it out? Nope. Dude, this Aurora Bell is keeping this dude afloat. This Aurora Bell is keeping this dude afloat for real. Dark Pulse is going to come through. Take out my extra drill. He's probably going to drop a, uh, a Hailstorm onto my Rotom. Which my Rotom should be able to eat up. He has no boost or anything. Another Resonance. G-Max Resonance. We should be able to eat this up. Yep, we do eat it up. With 40 left. And we could potentially get a double kill here and kind of roll out. We have our fake out as well. Like, seem definitely Max Garden. But I don't even think I, I go for a Max Guard. I don't even think I go for a Max Guard. I say I keep the pressure over on the, the Lapras. I think I keep the pressure over on the Lapras by dropping another Grassy Terrain. Well, not Grassy Terrain. Max Overgrowth. And we take out the Duraldon with either a Flare Blitz or a Darkest Lair. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, because we're going to be able to take it out here. I mean, I could take it out. With the route on, but... Darkest Slayer. Ooh, I don't know if Darkest Slayer is going to take it out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stun it. I'm definitely going to flinch it. And I'm going to set up... The, and I'm going to hit the stick with the max overgrowth. Be able to take it out. 
Bam, bam. Dun, dun, that Aurora Bell is so clutch, man. The reason I am going for the fake out is because with that Aurora Bell, I don't know if that Incineroar can take it out. Unless I go for a Flare Wits. I really don't want to go for the Flare Wits to take that recoil damage, even though it's just a little bit. I still think we can leave this to Rallon sitting here another turn and be able to take it out next turn. Let's see what happens here. Fake out comes through. A little bit of chip damage. Make him flinch. Give him a little clap skis. Overgrowth flies through once again. And says bye bye to this beast of a G Max Lapras. Like, that is crazy that it sets up a war bill. It's just a late screen and reflect all in one. Turn one, bang, get it over with. I think that's going to be used a lot. I think that is going to be used a lot. I think that's just going to be such a good Pokemon in this meta. Just be able to set up quick screens. Quick screens. Okay, so he has. Did we take out any of his mons so far? I don't think we have. He goes to the Butterfree. Oh my god, I wish we had the fake out. I wish we had the fake out. That is tough. Now I wish we had the fake out. Butterfree's gonna start putting us to sleep. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. He's gotta be Sash. He's gotta be Sash. I gotta go for the Flare Blitz over on you. And I have to Volt Switch. I have to Volt Switch here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's his last two. It's his last two. Rotom goes first. Is he Sash or no? He is Sash. No! Leave me alone! We get a crit, but it, we didn't even need it. He is Sash. This is, gonna, this, this is gonna bring it down to the wire here. Rotom down to two. Dark Pulse comes through. Who's he taking out here? He's gonna take out my Rotom. Oh, don't you dare put me to sleep. Don't you dare put me to sleep, my dude. Sleep powder. No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone, my dude! Puts me to sleep. That's whack. That is whack. Oh no, this is coming down. It's coming down, dude. If you didn't have that Butterfree with sleep, we would have won this match. We would have won this match, hands down. Come on, baby. What you want? What you want? Uh, I guess, I guess just a Darkest layer here into this Butterfree. We gotta get out of the way. Hopefully, Incineroar takes quick naps. Like, it's a little cat, so, like, I can just be like, alright, I'm done with my nap for today. As you know, cats, they, they only nap a little bit. Little T Bolt flies through. Incineroar eats up. He's bulky. He's a bulky boy. Pollen Puff coming through. Ooh. Oh, you're healing up, dude. He's just playing it safe. He's just playing it safe. Oh, my HP. Cinnaroar is knocked. Slumped. Slumped over here. Rain does stop. Some tough news here. That's some tough news. We're going to go 2-1 and one with this team. Not bad. Almost 3-0. Oh. Almost 3-0. Oh. This guy didn't have that Butterfree in the back. We had this one in the bag. That Sleep Powder was huge. That Sleep Powder was huge. The Sash, same thing. It was the Sash and the Sleep Powder that won in the game. So GG to this guy for bringing in that Butterfree in the back end. Come on, make a move. Dude, he's protecting. He's just he's like, come on, man. Take me out. Just take out my Incineroar. He bolts flying through. Bill. He's going to protect the shot. Oh, we do wake up. The Darkest Area is going to get protected. And he's just going to he's just gonna sleep again. So I'm going to keep my Incineroar alive. I'm going to run this one. GG to this guy. And we go 2-1. With this team, not bad. I really do like this team overall. I think it was such a good team, and the way it was built was pretty solid. Very solid Incineroar team. I highly recommend using it. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Like I said, out of the three teams I built for Season 3, I feel like this is the, my best one. I've been playing the best on the ladder with it. So definitely check it out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.